Hi friends. So welcome back to Walking the Beach with Miss Myers. So we're going to talk a little bit about the beach and about the sand and where you find it and what's in it and what can be found as we continue on with our lessons on the beach. All right, friends. So go ahead and enjoy the rest of this video. Okay, so there's certain things that you can find in the sand. You can find seashells. You can find rocks. An example of a seashell. You can find a ton of stuff. You can find wood from trees. Sticks. Little pieces of rock. Everything. You can even find ah, a walk. You can find little feathers from the seagulls that fly around. So as you can tell, the beach is like covered with seashells. And you'll see seashells on the first picture of the slides that we have. Alright, as you keep walking, you'll notice that the sand keeps going and going and going and going. And when you realize that the sand even goes into the water. So, there's sand and seashells and rocks and little pieces of wood even in the water. That's crazy to even think about. But there's also little things that you can also find on the beach and it's called seaweed. Let's see if we can find any seaweed. So we're gonna try not to step in the water today. But these little pieces right there, right there, it's called seaweed and they're created in the ocean to kind of regulate everything and to keep everything clean. But you can still see that the sand is like two different colors from up there. You can see that. That's because this side has been more touched with water than all the other sides. So again, with the waves, it brings it in, the sand goes out with it, and it keeps coming back and forth. And it keeps taking sand along with it, which fills out the bottom of the ocean. As you can tell, the waves are really big today, and so is the water, and it's probably really, really cold. So we're gonna try not to be in the water today, since it's a little gray and a little not sunshiny and warm <laughs> in California as it usually is. So that is about the sand and about the ocean and how the ocean even has sand in it. Ah. As you can see it, look, there's a big cliff. I know it doesn't look real, but it is. You have to climb over this part of the sand to go near even the ocean. So there you go, guys. Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me today where we walk on the beach and walk on the sand and get to learn a lot of cool things about the sand. Um, something else that's actually in the sand that we did not get to see and we probably won't see here is turtles. And turtles actually go into the sand as eggs and when they hatch, they find their way back to the ocean. And it's, they actually use the moonlight to do that and the moonlight also makes the tidal waves good job so thank you so much for joining with me today um, and walking the beach and learning about the sand and all the other cool things we learned about the sand so make sure when you walk the sand you be careful of turtles and crabs and make sure you're not slipping on little tiny rocks all right guys have fun bye